Good morning, dear students of class eight. Now today, in your English class, before we start the lesson, just look at this picture. What can you see? Yes, you can see a glow. You can see. the continents the world you can see the earth so you would be wondering that in your english class are you studying geography today no dear children definitely this has something to do with geography but at the same time today we are going to enjoy a poem and this poem is geography lesson from your main reader honey dew and this poem is by the famous poet zulfikar ghosh so you are going to enjoy and appreciate this poem today and the name of this poem is geography lesson by zulfikar ghosh now i'll read out this a brief introduction before we begin the poem now Can you imagine what your city would like look like if you saw it from 10000 feet above the ground nobody planned perfect in proportion like geometric design it would strike you as something very different from what it actually is while you are in the thick of it some of you who have traveled in aeroplanes are reminded of scene when you are looking at cities at the world from a height so here is the poet's description of just such a view of the city and some questions that come to his mind when he is looking at the world at the cities from a height the poet describes the view of a city when he travels in a jet from a thousand feet how the city looks different the geographical designs some facts are clear to him but then there are some facts which are disturbing and which questions his mind when he sits in the jet now definitely you would like to know more about jets so you can visit the site there are plenty of information about jets available on different web addresses you can seek information about the different jets from these sites now let us see the striking ideas which are expressed in this poem when the jet sprang into the sky it was clear why the city had developed the way it had you can see the speed with which the jet is moving they seemed an inevitability about what on ground had looked haphazard unplanned without style when the jet sprang into the sky so the jet is moving with speed into the sky 
and the following facts are very clear to the poet the facts are the city had developed but looked like geographic designs so narrow and congested its ground view was haphazard unplanned and unstylish what on the ground had looked haphazard unplanned without style style when the jet sprang into the sky the jet is picking up speed it is moving towards the sky now when the jet reached 10000 feet it was clear why the country had cities where the rivers ran we all know that where the rivers ran people they like to establish themselves near the rivers and they have their own motives for settling down because life is easier why the country had cities where the rivers ran why the valleys were populated the logic of geography that land and water attracted man was nearly delineated when the jet reached 10000 feet now the jet is picking up speed and it is moving higher and higher rivers they are blocked or destroyed to construct cities because man has decided to settle near the banks of the cities rivers now when the jet rose 6 miles high it was clear that earth was round and it had more sea than land geographical facts became more and more clear to the poet that is the earth is round but it was difficult to understand that the men on the earth found causes to hate each other to build walls across cities to kill from that height it was not clear why but these facts why man is so greedy why man is destroying earth why why man is building walls across cities demarcating different cities different countries spreading hatred was not clear to the poet now you can see in these pictures you can see how development has led to pollution in the rivers you can mo know more about pollution if one side there is the rivers have been polluted on the other side you can see the parched earth earth which has become dry then this is also the valleys there is a problem of overpopulation valleys are populated the problem of overpopulation also the poet has highlighted on these changes they the poet agrees with the logic of geography that land has water has always attracted man this is a logic but there are some changes which the poet is unable to understand and these changes are man why man has become greedy it is difficult to understand logic of geography is clear but why people find causes to hate and fight the poet is not able to 
understand why man is building walls across cities and countries separating man from man is not clear to the poet then you can see here so much of killing wars where people lose their lives and there is lot of loss of property where there is no gain wants to if there are many wars that have were fought which has really harmed mankind here the poet ends with a positive line and a message for children that let's put our hands together and make this world a better place the poet wants to sensitize the readers that man should stop hatred and put up hands together and make the world a better place preserve nature protect nature reduce pollution these are some clear message that the poet is trying to give through the poem you can see in these pictures the message is loud and clear the poet wants to urge mankind urge the readers that they should take some steps to fight pollution because it has harmed mankind and he should help those who are in need shed off narrow mindedness with these positive thoughts the poet is trying to give a very clear message to the poet to the readers through the poem friends how beautiful day can be when friendship touches it so with this note we are going to put an end to this poem thank you